We're here at Computex 2017 and uh, Western Digital is launching the new 3D SSD technology. Absolutely. So we're talking here about 3D and we're talking about 3D being uh, a new, not, not necessarily just a new thing for the industry, but we're talking about economically viable 3D at this point. So we're saying, we're saying 3D that is going to be scalable and is going to make SSDs uh, more affordable for you in the future, right? So every SSD right now is a single layer solutions, but well, this one has 64. It's not that every, every SSD has a single layer solution, but what we're saying is the memory itself is evolving. And so we're doing a 64 layer, uh, we're talking about a 64 layer memory, and we're actually announcing today, and we'll go over here and talk about our 64 layer SSD. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's based on that 64 layer memory to provide you with uh, you know, better density, better performance. So this is it. real? This is a, this is a, a real SSD drive. And it's the, it's the first 3D uh, SanDisk branded, and you have a yep. 3D uh, Western Digital branded. We do. What's the difference between those kind of products, different brands? So, so it is different brands. We're not saying that the technology is different. These are both using uh, the same electrical platform, because what we're doing is, as Western Digital Company, we've developed a platform that we th feel like is going to be uh, really uh, strong for both consumers and for channel kind of distribution. <laughs> so you're talking two terabytes, also two terabytes? Yeah, up to two terabytes in these. We do 250, 500, 1000, and two terabytes. So two terabyte SSD yep. enabled because it's 3D. There's 64 layers in there. There are, yeah, 64 layers in, that are in there. And, and again, what's really key about using the 3D is that it, it actually gives us some more flexibility and more power in the memory. It's going to give us better performance. We're going to see up to 560, 530 uh, for reads and writes. What could you do before with a single layer? Uh, it's not that just the single layer limits it, but what it says is that you're going to get optimized performance. And so I think the prior generation product we talked about maybe yeah. being 540, 520 for reads and writes. But what we're saying is this is optimized. This is going to be... Um, this is really going to be uh, maximum for SATA. Maximum, it, you basically uh, to the six gigabit per second, you kind of like uh, reaching maximum. Right. right. For that, as, as much throughput as you can kind of get in that, in right. that speed. Yeah. Uh, the next thing we talk about is we do talk about uh, better energy efficiency. So being able to consume a little less power, and what we mean is when you're writing and you're uh, and you're writing, say, a 30 gig file, you'll use as much as 30 percent less power. And that's compared not against uh, that's compared against our own uh, X400 SSD, so the Sandisk branded product from pre previously. So that's just going to give you a little bit more battery life, going to make your laptop last a little longer, uh, let you sit on the couch. Is the SSD one of the big culprits in battery consumption in a device or not? It's not one of the huge culprits, but the thing is, every little bit helps. It's it's a question of uh, how often you have to get off the couch to go plug your laptop back in, or whether you're just using it. Usually, if you have an Intel laptop, is the display maybe, and the Intel CPU is consuming more, and then comes the SSD. Uh, probably your processor and your screen, yes, are, are a little bit more. Good. But this helps. Over there, and uh, uh, built to last, uh, is that because of 3D, you can do longer lifetime? It is, it is. So what we're saying is you're getting better durability because of the 3D memory. And uh, we talk about uh, on the 2 terabyte being up to 500 uh, terabytes written over the life of the drive. And what that means is that it basically, as a, as a human being, you're not going to be able to create enough content to, to kind of wear it out. If you're using it in a server application or something like that, it might be a possibility. But as a consumer, you, you typically would use maybe somewhere in the range of 10 gigabytes per day that you create. And if you were, took a 2 terabyte and did 10 gigabytes a day, it would be, you know, 140 years or something to wear it out. So this is, this is uh, way past the amount that we think it can So if we, if we walk over here, yeah. uh, just to try to understand this, this uh, so each layer is a smaller layer. But it's uh, right here. You were doing uh, more like uh, high-end tricks right. to put more stuff in one layer. Now you can right. So what, what you talk more. about is when you talk about three D memory versus two D memory. Two D memory. What we were doing is we were shrinking and shrinking and shrinking the memory, so that you get in that same footprint, you could get a few more bits of data, right? And as you shrink and shrink and shrink the memory, and the data gets closer and closer together, you start to have some interference. So when we move to three D, what we've done is we've created a space and created it to where each bit of data has a little bit more space of its own, and that means that you're going to get better endurance, it means you're going to be able to do faster things, you're going to do less error correction, and so it's just going to give you better quality, better speed, better performance for the overall drive. And this is uh, due to new uh, material, new research, new R&D that just enabled 
the, 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 the level where now it makes sense economically, this two terabytes, do you announce price? Uh, we didn't announce, we're not announcing price on the two terabyte. What we'd say is that in both the WD and the SanDisk brands, these are going to be starting uh, at two, the 250 gigabyte versions will be starting at $99. The reality is that the price will be determined a little bit by where the market is on, on Flash right now. And this is the same size as usually, this is the same weight? Normal it's two and like a half inch uh, drives goes feel into your laptop, yeah. Heavier or it's not thicker. Right, exactly. All right, so there it is, uh, 3D technology announced now and shipping in Q3, right? Q3, absolutely. Right. Thank you.